welcome back. So as you can see I'm wearing the same attire, hair, makeup, all that shebang um, as my last video because I'm filming them in succession because um, I'm kind of wanting to blur them at the same time. Anyway this is my July favourites. Again typical comment, can't believe it's the end of July. We've had such amazing weather like apart from a few thunderstorms like there was a really scary one last night so I had to close my window but we've had amazing weather. I mean apart from the the sheer heat and having to try and adjust to that it's been pretty good so yeah so I'll get started with the body skincare sort of section and the first thing um, that I've really been loving is the Vaseline Spray and Go Body Moisturiser in Aloe Fresh and I featured this in fact I featured a lot of these products in my um, previous haul video so apologies for the duplication but um, I literally don't think I've got that much left of this but it's just so easy to use, it's so lazy, like you literally just spray it and go, <laughs> like literally spray and go. Um, it's an amazing scent because it's aloe vera and I think that's been really great because I've had a little bit of sunburn and my skin's just generally feeling really sort of like traumatised by the heat. So I've been using that and I just think it's so nice and cooling and refreshing and I'll probably buy another one but I think because it's a spray I kind of think oh, I can just use it all over and not have to worry about it but it's I've used it so quickly and it's like new continuous spray well how long is it going to continue for because I've pretty much used it all up then um, on to skincare and there's two things that I've been enjoying this month and um, the first thing is something that sadly I've finished because you know it's been warm <laughs> and it's the Avene Eau Thermal Thermal Spring Water which as I said in my previous video, I was like, is the really, is it just a gimmick? I don't know. But it's been an absolute godsend in the heat. Like, I can't quite explain how much it's just really helped me because when you're like, oh, I'm at work and I'm in and out of the office and I'm flustered and it's hot, like, you literally just spray it over your face and it's just like an instant, like, cool down. It's really amazing. And I've literally sprayed everybody in my office in the face. I'm like, have you got a wet, sweaty face? Would you like to have some cool down time? And everybody's like, yeah, okay, <laughs> terrified, spraying in the face. But actually, everybody's enjoyed this. I think this is like an everybody favourite this month. Um, I'm definitely going to get a bigger one. I don't know like about skincare benefits because I don't really necessarily have particularly sensitive skin. But it has been really soothing on my skin. And like I've had a bit of heat rash as well. Like getting blotches like everywhere. So I've just been given like a quick spray. And this has just been amazing. And I've just... Like, I still think it's a bit gimmicky, but for this heat, I ain't complaining. Then the next skincare is um, Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Moisturiser. Um, this is now my, like, everyday moisturiser. Because I'd kind of been skipping moisturiser a bit, because I kind of, like, felt, oh, it's a bit too, too much on my face for this time of year. But this is really light and energising and gives you a nice perk to the skin. Um, I'm not really a big fan of the ginseng eye cream Um, I had some sort of weird reaction to that I don't know if it's because I'd had just like my eyes work great but this is really nice it's really fresh on the skin it's an orangey scent so it feels really fruity and just nice and smells amazing and it sinks in really nicely and keeps me hydrated so I'm happy with that then on to perfume and the perfume that I'm loving this month is one that I received as part of a Debenhams VIP panel like competition thing and I never win anything so I was really excited to win this and it is and to review it and it's the Elizabeth Arden Untold which is out soon. The bottle itself is beautiful and I've done a blog post on this and I feel like the pictures really give it justice because this bottle is beautiful. It's just really nice light reflecting. It's one of those that you have on your dressing table you know like look at my nice bottle on my dressing table it's kind of one of those bottles um, the scent itself is beautiful it's just a really nice sort of feminine not it's I wouldn't say it was like too grown up but it's like nicely mature and it's fruity floral fresh like really really lovely fragrance and it lasts amazingly all throughout the day like I'll be wearing it and then I'll be like What's that? Oh, it's me. Smelling nice. But this is lovely and I think the packaging's perfect. The scent's beautiful. I've been wearing this pretty much every day and it's fast becoming one of my favourite perfumes of all time. I really, really like that. Then on to makeup and the first thing is a makeup brush and it's the MAC 109 brush that I bought quite a while ago 
but haven't particularly used it. I kind of bought it to go with the MAC face and body because that's how the girl put the foundation on me before I bought it. But I found I'm using it as a contour uh, brush, which I suppose is the real purpose of it. And I've been using it with my MAC Harmony blush just to sort of go through the contours of the cheek. And I just think this is a lovely, lovely brush. It does shed a bit, but every time I wash it, it sheds a lot less. And I've, got, I've got, sort of gone off MAC brushes just because they're so expensive. And I find myself using my Real Techniques ones more. But this brush I'd had my arm for so long. and now I've got MAC Harmony blush, it's like a perfect match made in heaven and I just think this brush is lovely. The next thing is a bronzer and I featured this in my last haul video with a mini one um, and it's the Chroma Beauty or Kardashian Beauty bronzer and this is in Endless Summer. As I said in that video, I think it's called something else online but I'll link it below and this blush, uh, this bronzer is, sorry, it's just absolutely lovely. The packaging really quite cheap and I'm not really feeling it but look at the size of that bronzer and for £12 you get all that bronze and it look it's got sort of a gradient effect it's got like a darker bit a medium bit and then a lighter bit but I just kind of just swirl it all together and it's a really nice matte bronzer I'm wearing it today and I just think this is great and I was pleasantly surprised with that next thing is a um, mascara and Maybelline are seriously bringing it with mascaras like I don't know why I never really sort of thought of them for mascaras before um, but this one is the Rocket Volume Express which is in this bright blue packaging and it's a plastic brush which I've kind of decided I just like them now and it is a um, quite an even one, It's a bit. it goes slightly narrower towards the tip but it gives you such amazing volume on the lashes um, like my lashes just look so long and thick and I feel like I kind of prefer it to the um, what was that? the falsies one, yeah the falsies <laughs> um, which I quite liked and the Mega Plush one which I like as well but I think this one just sort of beats them to it the only thing is it's not like you can't be so slapdash with it on your bottom lashes because it kind of like clumps slightly but if you kind of like to sort of like tap it on it looks absolutely fine so I'm wearing that today and I really like that so it's a lip product and it is the Bourjois Colour Boost in Peach on the Beach which is one of their new lip crayons and I've never really used lip crayons before but oh my god this colour is amazing it's just a really perfect um, peachy pink on the lips and like it's really glossy, really creamy and I just think these are amazing. I've got another colour orange punch which I don't like as much but the other two colours in there, the like four that you can pick from, I definitely think I'm going to get those. Um, yeah, so these are just like seriously gorgeous, they're lovely, like really nicely pigmented, they go on really smooth on the lips, they last sort of like two or three hours which I think is quite a long time for a such a, a product that's so glossy and I just think these are amazing, Bourjois are absolutely killing it with their releases at the moment, I swear down they are so so good, you know, so these are amazing, I definitely definitely recommend you pick these up, especially in this shade, this shade is beautiful and I've been wearing it non-stop. I thought I'd incorporate non-beauty favourites and I've decided I'm going to tell you my favourite TV show of the month and favourite songs of the month so like music and TV. I don't really think there's any movie favourites just because I've not really watched any movies recently but um, I'd say favourite song I've kind of got like four that are just on repeat a lot and I really love um, Lawson featuring B.O.B and that's called Broken Hearted and that's just so catchy and I really like that song and then I really like Selena Gomez <laughs> Come and Get It it's like lyrically it's not the best song but I just think it's really catchy with the whole like na 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 bit I like that and I really like um, Jay-Z and Justin Timberlake Holy Grail I think that's amazing Justin sounds incredible on it and then also <laughs> this one's like slightly more embarrassing than any of the others and it's One Direction I know I don't even know who I am right now One Direction best song ever I absolutely love that song and it's so catchy and I think the video is hilarious and we danced all night to the best song ever to <laughs> some two um, TV favourites and I have two favourites because I can't narrow it down 
the first favourite is Luther and I'm not really one for like British programmes, I've always preferred American dramas etc and apart from watching The Fall when that was on last like last sort of like maybe two months ago I absolutely loved that and everybody was like you need to watch Luther and I was like mm, I don't know like I think Idris Elba's great but I was like I'm not too sure so I watched it and I swear I watched right up until the second to last episode of season three so I watched two and a half seasons in like a weekend I swear it's so good Um, yeah I'm a bit disappointed for like, sort of like I don't want to spoil anything obviously but like the last two episodes are so sad um, but I really enjoyed that and another one I've got back into actually and been watching the box set is Veronica Mars and I used to love Veronica Mars when it was on TV um, Kristen Bell is just amazing and obviously they're doing the movie and I watched all the stuff um, from Comic Con um, like the trailer and everything and I was getting really excited for the movie so I thought I'd watch the box sets again and I watched season one and two in like a week and now on to season three but I'm trying to like ration myself because I know that season three is the final season so a little bit disappointed with that but I just think it's such a good show it's kind of got like that Buffy-esque feeling that it's like can be quite dark at times but then it's got that that humour th running throughout that like Buffy has and Buffy's like it's kind of like silly humour throughout and like snarky comments and stuff and I just think it's really such a good programme and I'm glad I've got back into it because I've had my box sets for quite some time.